Hello and welcome to my channel, my friends. It's me, Indiana Jones, and this is Crafting with me, Indiana Jones. Although today I'm going to be sharing a shopping haul from Timu. They reached out to me and asked me to try out some of their products for Christmas. So let's take a look and see what Timu has in store for you. I'll tell you, I've been shopping with Timu for about a year now, and I'm pleasantly surprised many times. There are some items that I haven't been too, too happy with, but for the most part, I have been thrilled, especially with the florals and crafting supplies. Now, this I included some items that I was going to use for my decorating this year. So let's get started. What are these? These two are the most comfortable shoes. I'm telling you, if you haven't bought shoes on Timu, so far I've bought two pairs and I love them. Yes, they look like little old, old lady shoes, but that's what I'm getting to. I'm a little old lady, but they're so comfortable and it feels like you're just wearing socks with soles. I'm not saying that socks don't have soles. I mean, there isn't a movie yet called All Socks Go to Heaven, but if they did, it would be these shoes because they got sole, okay? Anyway, let's continue. What was that all about? Now, this is a dress. I am including it here in the insert so you can see the full dress. Um... I wasn't too happy with it. I had bought it for our company Christmas celebration, holiday celebration. The fabric, especially the underlying, the overlying fabric was very nice. It was like a chiffon, but what was underneath was more like a slip and not necessarily a fabric. And it looks like it has rhinestones, but in reality, it's just a silver ribbon. So that's the only item I really wasn't happy with on this haul. This next item I love. I love so much that I actually bought it twice, I think, because I really, really needed this for my Alice in Wonderland Christmas display. Isn't this perfect? And I can tell you that I was looking at stuff like this on Amazon and all it is is a table runner. And I think it was twice the price on Amazon. So this was a really, really good buy, especially if you like that style for Christmas. Let's see what else we have here. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is some crafting supplies, I believe. And you know how much I love moss and how much I hate moss. So I had seen Brandy of making it my own DIY. She had bought a couple of these and I thought, you know what? I think it's a good idea to have it on hand just in case. And I can tell you right now that I was very, very pleased with the material and with the quality of this product. Ooh, this was something fun. Now, I remember seeing the price and I couldn't believe that it was that inexpensive. And I believe, I can't remember it right now, but I believe it was under like $7. Look at the quality of this crown. If you ever need a crown, and sometimes you deserve a crown and nobody gives it to you, so gift it to yourself. Give yourself a crown this Christmas. I think this is a great idea. Also, if there's all these like winter festivals at, at schools and stuff, don't get those chintzy little plastic crowns. Invest and get something really nice. Look at this one. So this one I'm going to use as the Queen of Hearts. I had wished that they had it in red, but look at the sparkle. I think it was worth to get it in just clear. Oh, I love it. It's so sparkly. So this was a fun find on Timu. And I guess very, very inexpensive, especially when you compare it to prices that I saw on Amazon so many wonderful items i love shopping hauls from Timu. now this i thought was really cute i love the florals at Timu. i can never say enough about the florals at Timu. look at these beautiful cream colored roses and this you can use any time of the year and i'm especially going to use them for my alice in wonderland since i need some white roses now this is a pick that you just put batteries into the pack and it has little lights on it. So I thought that was a good addition, especially for my Christmas decor. I thought it was great to have around. Here comes another bag from Timu. Let's see what's in here. <gasps> foam clay. You know, I can't live without my foam clay. And I decided to start buying my foam clay from Timu once again because it's less expensive. And look at these wonderful sculpting tools that I also got for my foam clay and for air dry clay as well. What else did I get? Oh, this is an extender for your Cricut. So if you have, uh, if you're printing something that's very long and you need to expand the area so that it doesn't bend so that, you know, 
the vinyl doesn't bend or curl up at the end, you can use this extender. So I thought they had so many different Cricut tools. They even have Cricut tools, but they have so many accessories, including pads and those little picker things. I don't know what to call them, picker things. Here is another wonderful set of, look at that, of um, clay uh, tools, I guess, clay sculpting tools, and I love them. Oh my gosh, look at this wonderful eucalyptus. I don't know if you just use pine, but sometimes I mix my pine with items like this. Look at this wonderful garland. Again, go to Hobby Lobby, it's twice the price. Go to Timu for your florals, you will not be disappointed, I'm telling you right now. So yes, I'm going to incorporate that into my Christmas decor as well. <gasps> this, I absolutely love this. This was a set of vintage Christmas cards that you can create into a banner. Now, I know I can make them myself, but I'm going to be very, very busy this year. And you know how much I love vintage inspired decor. I just absolutely love the look of vintage decor and I want to always incorporate it, whether it's Halloween, Christmas, or Easter. So look at these beautiful cards. The colors are beautiful. And honestly, for the price, it even comes with like ribbon to like thread through. But for the price, I think this is wonderful. You can use this, you know, in wreaths. You can use this as cards themselves. They're so pretty. You can use this in so many ways to de de decorate instead of printing it out and, and decoupaging it. So I will be using this either as a banner. Oh, look at that. How cute. Look at them. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. That's so cute. It's just like a oh, screaming cute. Cute. And I love them all, and I want to incorporate this into my Christmas decor without too much... Whoa, Mr. Claus. Excuse me, Mr. Claus. What's he doing with Elizabeth Taylor there? Anyway, <laughs> these are all so... Yeah, I, I'm still questioning that. You're married. You're married, mister. Okay. Little St. Nicholas. Anyway, look at the elf. I love all of these. So if you love them too, again, I think it's worth just purchasing di directly from Timu and you don't have to worry about creating this on your own and you can incorporate this in so many craft design ideas. As you know, I'm decorating with the Alice in Wonderland theme and I had purchased this in the spring and I've used many, many items of it already. So I decided to repurchase this wonderful pack of Alice in Wonderland papers and look at the little doilies. Just so many wonderful ideas to create journals. There's around four sheets of those little doilies, which I like adore. All these little stickers, everything you need to create an Alice in Wonderland uh, journal. This is a great gift if maybe someone in your family loves Alice in Wonderland. Get a blank journal. You can get those on Timu as well and give them this starter pack so they can start their own Alice in Wonderland uh, journal so they can start the year off right. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that I just got a wood cutting machine it's a laser cutting machine so i needed some more wood obviously and there i have a little brayer and some loose moss believe it or not it's like mini moss mini moss yes mini moss i just wanted to have it on hand just in case especially for the holiday season now i will say the brayer didn't come with a handle for some odd odd reason now this i absolutely love this item because i selected this for the queen's tea room and I thought, how perfect is this to add to my decor? I absolutely love this, not only because it's gold, but it's an actual functioning teapot that I can put my loose leaf tea in there. Yes, I do have loose leaf tea, I love it. And I thought if I ever have company over, I can use this instead of just, you know, little tea bags. I love this idea. Also, with the Alice in Wonderland theme, I got these wonderful oversized playing cards. Isn't that perfect? And check this out. I absolutely love these. Look at these little crystal hearts that I'll be including in my Alice in Wonderland Queen of Hearts Christmas tree. I am so happy that Timu reached out to me so they can be part of my Christmas collaboration with the Deering Estate. And there were so many. I think there were 50 pieces, believe it or not. Very inexpensive. Now this, if you love dress forms, I believe this was around $4.98 if I'm not mistaken, but it was a set of four dress forms 
They were in black, but you can paint them any color. Look at how absolutely adorable these wired dress forms. So if you want to include dress forms in your Christmas tree, I would paint them white or I would paint them gold, whatever color, pink, any color you want. And you can include that in your Christmas tree. Wouldn't that be adorable with some flowers added to it as well? <coughs> Now these items, I have to tell you, I purchased these by myself afterwards because, well, I was happy with one of them and there you can see it. I wanted to get another one of those wonderfully Harlequin patterned um, table runners because I thought the, the quality of the fabric is wonderful. It's clearly printed and I just thought I needed to have more than one. I needed to have two, maybe one for the house, one for over there. But for now, I'm going to incorporate this into my design at the Deering Estate. What else have I bought here? I got some silicone molds. Now, if you're going to do a lot of baking, we're going to get, oh, and more cards, of course. I wanted to get another set of cards. And, oh, these were my Halloween. I love my Halloween sticker nails, and those were like under a dollar. So, now this, I got this, um, if I could show it, I got this wonderful <laughs> bunt cake mold. I thought it was perfect to create some fake bakes. For, for not Halloween for Christmas and here's another one so they have a lot of fake bake molds or actually you can actually cook in them as well because they are silicone so they stand up to the heat and then I got this trim I don't know exactly what I'm going to use it for I was thinking I could create my own um, how can I say it my own throne but I'm just going to keep that trim for anything that I need around the house it's always handy to have that foam trim Thank you once again for joining me with this little Timu holiday haul. I hope you found something that might interest you. And if so, please check the links down below. Timu has wonderful decor and gift ideas for Christmas and the holidays. I'd also like to thank you for stopping by. And as always, ask you if you've enjoyed this or any of my other videos to please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to stay safe, be kind. God bless each and every one of you and live the adventure. And I'll see you again very soon.